Hello to everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Alien Command, the advanced version. Uh, we're going to fit it to a 350 uh, uh, 3DX 450B helicopter, as you can see here. Uh, I've just taken the skids off and the ESC, uh, preparing it to fit the Alien Command Advance. And I'll have the receiver here. Now what you should do, what you get in the kit, is you get your CR1 unit. You get your Alien Command, which is here. You get your infrared, some cables, uh, and etc. You get the USB cable, which is here, and the software, and some instruction manuals. Now, what we we'll do with the system, I've part, uh, installed some of it. Uh, what we have is the alien command. In the alien command, uh, we just zoom in a bit uh, so you can see. So, on the alien command, you have these top two channels on this side and uh, basically on one of these cables you have a little tab uh, which only goes in one way it tells you that the negative is on this side so we plugged in two cables which is aileron elevator and basically what we've done is we run one of these cables to the CL1 unit which is here and we have a series of connectors which is right centre left which is the servos the collective which is the pitch channel, the aileron elevator and your PC so you can plug in your computer. Uh, what we've done, we have uh, plugged in uh, the elevator and the aileron which uh, responds which is in here, which is in the, ch in the instruction manuals, which channel goes where, it's fairly straightforward. And also what we have here is another uh, ch cable here and we're going to plug that in the pitch channel which is the coal. And obviously on here it says the negative goes to this side of the CL1 unit. So we're going to plug in the coal right now. And we'll just plug that one in. And obviously all we're all ready to put it onto the helicopter. So what I'll do now is I'll just zoom out and we'll move on to the helicopter. Okay, now you see the uh, 3DX450B we're fitting it to. And obviously I have the receiver here. And on this receiver I've obviously mounted that for the ESC, uh, which is to, to set it up. And we have our gyro here which I've pre-set up and pre-plugged into the uh, receiver. Now what channels we're going to be using? We're going to be using channel 1 channel, which is the Elleron channel and channel 2 which is the elevator and channel 6 which is the pitch which is basically the pitch is the right channel the aileron is uh, the left channel and the elevator is the front channel so uh, you can't go wrong so what we'll do now uh, the basically the coal channel we've just plugged into the CL1 unit this wire here uh, we're going to plug that into channel 6 now if you've got a Futaba um, fast unit, the negative is on the right hand side of the receiver uh, which is basically on this, this, this side of the receiver so we'll make sure that the darker wire is on this side so I'll plug it into channel 6 what also we do now is these uh, wires coming out the side of the alien command we have elevator aileron um, so basically the uh, aileron channel uh, we know that is uh, channel 1, so we'll plug that into channel 1. So obviously we'll just move all these cables out of the way, and we'll plug that into channel 1, making sure that the black wire is on the outside of the receiver. We'll just plug that in like so. Also, we have another cable coming out there, which is the uh, elevator channel, which we know that's channel 2. So channel 2 is front. So we'll plug that into the front, uh, making sure that the black is on the right hand uh, on the right hand side of the receiver. So we'll just plug that in like so. Now I'm just doing a quick mock up of the uh, system. So we'll just get it all fired up, making sure everything works before you actually fit it to the helicopter. So I've now plugged that into the receiver. So for the CL1 unit and the Alien Command. This is basically this system here. So we're just going to go through that, double check everything, so we have our pitch, uh, which goes 
straight to the CL1 unit. We have the elevator, aileron, which is good channel 1, channel 2, which comes from the alien command. And obviously all we've got to do now is connect up the servos. So this is where we move the helicopter in, into contention. So if we move all this out of the way and we'll move the helicopter in. Okay, so this here is the uh, right hand servo uh, coming from the helicopter. So I'll just plug that into the uh, CL1 unit, uh, obviously following the same pattern on the uh, earth. So we know that the earth is this side. So I'll plug that in there. So that's the right channel. So I'll plug that to the top channel on the CL1 unit. The center channel, which is the front with the elevator, that goes in channel 2 on the CL1 unit if you look down. Making sure that the earth is on the left hand side of the CL1 unit if you're facing it towards you. And the right end is the right way up. So we'll plug that in like so. And obviously the last channel is the left channel, which we all know that the left channel is the aileron channel. Uh, so we'll plug that same way as the last two, like so. So we'll plug that in, like so. So all channels are taken up by the PC channel. Uh, you do not have to fit the infrared just yet, we'll do that last. So what we do now, obviously making sure that the battery is disconnected and we'll just take off the, um, the blade holder because uh, obviously that can restrict the movement. So we want to fire the system up and we'll do that in part two. So we have our uh, ESC there which I've mounted to the skids and I'm just going to plug in the power wire. Obviously making sure that you follow all the instructions that, the, that you get with all your parts on your helicopter, like so, and we'll see the wires to the motor, which we'll just leave off. So in the next video, in part two, we'll be firing up the system and calibrating it. And uh, I can show you what you do on your receiver and the transmitter. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch part two. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.